Okay, my friends, I've had a, quite a few folks asking for this video, so I'm going to do this video for you guys. It's how to get your Facebook information. So this is my Facebook page. I'm logged in. I'm going to go up here to this little arrow that's right upside the help menu. It says right here, and you can see where your settings are. Go into settings, and I'm going to go down through settings over here to your Facebook information. When I get to your Facebook information, you go in here, and it says download information click here or click view that's beside it. It'll get you in there. It's gonna bring up this area and see this. You can see that you can set up a new file. I need to create a file. So I want to get my Facebook friends. I'm gonna deselect everything. And then I'm only gonna select friends because I want my friends list. I want it out of here. And so I'm gonna leave everything else. You can download all this stuff, but it just takes longer and it's a lot of stuff. Press correct create file I mean it's gonna load and it's gonna say this doing it your file is being created now here's the deal you're gonna log in in another day and you're gonna find your available file in here it looks like this and then you're gonna be able to pull it out you'll download it from here I'm gonna show you what it looks like so it's gonna come out of a zip file which I've downloaded one and I've opened one of my um, friends files here and so this is your actual file this is not the Facebook page you're gonna see it's an actual file so this is an actual file. See, it looks like Facebook, but it's not. It's a, a website that's been created in an HTML file that lives on my desktop, and then I can go through it. Now listen, if you get in here, it's really hard to sort. These guys are by date. You can also export it into the hard rough JSON or HTML file. My suggestion is to get in here and select all this. So you can select the whole thing, copy it, or save it in another form, um, you can do this number and then drop it into an Excel spreadsheet, whatever you want to do. But at least you've got it in here and it's a list form, which makes it easier to pull and sort. That's my encouragement, but this is an HTML file. Now you can open this as a text-based file and get it that way. Let's see if I can do that real quick and show you um, one last look at it. Let's look at the download manager. So inside of here, here's my downloads. Um, here's my Facebook data. Let's see if I can open one into a text file for you guys. Yeah, here's my friends. And then friends HTML. See, it's HTML. I'm going to see if I can open it. It looks rough. Yeah, like a text file. Here it is. This is a text file version of it instead of um, the other. So you see there's all this HTML data in here for the borders and stuff like that. But you get down here. This is another way to grab it easier. Sorry guys, it's my site's not letting me do that. One second. Right down here, you can get into the actual content and you start seeing the actual information. Oops, it's the wrong thing. Here we go. Here it is. One second. Here it is. So you get down here and I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and get to the actual friends. This is a lot of the information about how the file's set up. For you guys who are technical, this will make a lot more sense. So you can see in here, you've got the people's names. So that's the, the HTML version. My best encouragement is do what I did here. I'll show you. So for this, I literally open with, and then choose what you want to open it in. For me, I view it in here. And that's how you do it. So you can view on this on Facebook as well, but you just want to get in here and just start copy pasting all of these. And you can put them into a spreadsheet. All right, so see, like this. Or select all in your browser. And then you can copy paste them out. All right, so that's better than dealing with your Facebook page that's so hard to get the content out. You could also, from here, one last thing you could do, um, if you wanted to, you could print this to a PDF and save it as a PDF. <clears throat> Another option, since it's 381 pages, that might be a way to do it. Let's see if we can. Yep. All right, that's all it is. So I'm gonna finish up this right now and get off here. Hope that's helped.